against a Fulham side who are playing their 11th competitive game of the season. Eight matches already in the Intertoto competition. Two in the Premiership, and it could hardly have started better this season for... There was a chance here for six foot six Zat Knight to come forward from defence for Fulham. As Inamoto takes this free kick, Pagliuca comes and manages to get a good solid punch. Spreads it wide to, to Finnan. Into Legvinsky, lovely little back heel by Legvinsky. And Fulham are just sharper to the ball here. Inamoto to Sava, Sava. Boamorti waiting wide here left. Swung in left footed. Inamoto, the Japanese international, trying to feed it back to Brevet and he's lost possession, but good early pressure from Fulham. And fed right back to Zat Knight at the heart of the Fulham defence and they start again down the other side through Finnan. Inamoto slides it on Sava. Inamoto, great football! Oh, what a super goal! A brilliant goal by Fulham! And after the struggles they had staying in the Premiership last season, Fulham have begun this campaign in sparkling form. A lovely interchange of passes between Inamoto, the Japanese World Cup player, and Facundo Sava, the Argentinian who got the equaliser for Fulham at Middlesbrough in the 2-2 draw at the weekend. A lovely opening goal. And Inamoto, a 22-year-old who couldn't make a place for himself at Highbury with Arsenal, has already made a big impact with Fulham. I mean, it's gone in this second leg of the Intertoto Cup final, but that's the second time that Fulham have torn this Bologna defence wide open. Pagliuca got a hand on it, but he just couldn't keep it out. And it's a dream start for Fulham. And Inamoto, well, is he finally with Fulham, going to show the sort of football that he didn't get the chance to express with Arsene Wenger at Arsenal? Half an invitation to come forward. Brevet. Good cross. Good header! Oh, what a save! The header was from Male, but what a save from Pagliuca. Cruz, the Argentinian striker, with a header that might so easily have brought the equaliser. Bologna continuing to do better. Oh, and they have equalised! And you'd have to say that maybe Van der Zaar was a little bit slow to get down to that. And in truth, that goal has been on the cards for the last five or ten minutes. Signore with the strike. Defender was Falcone. Here's Inamoto, who got the Fulham goal, and then is dragged down by Gallucci. They don't believe in allowing you to play your football in Italy. Last five minutes of this first half. Sava to Inamoto, took it very well. Inamoto, well, it was a decent effort by Inamoto, but he could have just slid it to the right where Sean Davis had a better angle. But he's certainly done enough at the start of this season, Inamoto, to endear himself to Fulham fans with the pace and the strength to get away, and he could have just slid that to the side. Busy in midfield for Fulham. Decent first touch. Poor Morte didn't succeed in getting it back to him. Here's Olive, who was... Had his... Here's Male. In a moto. Well, it's still all to play for in this Intertoto Cup final. Inamoto, who gave Fulham the lead with a superb goal after 12 minutes, but then... 3-3, the aggregate score, but Fulham ahead by virtue of the extra away goal they scored in Bologna. On Davis, 
Saha heads it down for Noah Morte, whose pace was a feature of the first half, and he, he just ghosts past the first challenger. Here's Sean Davis onto Marley, who couldn't pull it down. Inamoto! Oh, Inamoto! What a strike! You just wonder why Inamoto never got his chance at Highbury. Scores Fulham's second goal in the first minute of the second half. And this, remember, against a Bologna team who last season almost qualified for the Champions League. It was only one win in the last six games in the Italian league which cost them that place and also a place in the UEFA competition outright. But Inamoto's wonder strike gives Fulham the lead by two goals to one. Inamoto now preparing to take this free kick. Fulham with a little cluster of five players waiting to make a run from the edge of the penalty area. Marley! Oh, he's hit the crossbar! Well, Fulham at the moment can do no wrong. Found the sharpness that they had at the start of the match. But here's Cruz for Bologna. Chipped in. Ooh, and Van der Sar had to be brave as Signori came in. It was a very good claim by the former Dutch international. Here's Boamorti, whose pace has tormented Bologna down that left side. He gets it into the middle. Marley. McVinsky! Inamoto! Completes a hat trick! Well, Junichi Inamoto scored goals in the World Cup against Belgium and Russia. He was Japan's hero during their World Cup campaign, and he's Fulham's hero tonight. Completes his hat-trick with that third goal coming in 49 minutes. Good back header that's picked up by Van der Zaar, and the referee checks his watch. And that's it. Fulham's season began in midsummer, but it's worth it. Inamoto's hat-trick tonight has confirmed that Fulham have won the Intertoto Cup final and they're into the UEFA Cup for the first time in their history. And there's no doubt that Jean Tigana's side have added something this season. And on the evidence of their performance tonight and in the first two games of the season in the Premiership, there will be much sterner opposition in this campaign than they were last season. Fulham win on aggregate. Five goals to three, and thoroughly deserved to. And Bologna, one of the top six teams in Italy, a team that seven times have won the Serie A championship, are defeated. And Fulham, with a new steal to their game, and a new confidence in front of goal. Final score on the night. 3-1.